The next exciting subject is, of course, the media player. You, uh, if, if you're thinking of purchasing this phone, this is uh, one of the key features, and it's operated by touchscreen, so it matches the demand of many people. How do we activate it? Um, there is, again, the key lock uh, up here, which doesn't really set the uh, touchscreen free. What you have to do to activate it is move this little arrow up. It's a bit like an Apple... Uh, interface but just uh, I wouldn't say it's a copycat so what do we have here we have the camera we have the uh, picture mo uh, view but those two are subject uh, a bit early on this review so I'm not gonna go into details about them too much we have the music player we have the video player and we do have the radio um, let's start with the music so all you need to do to activate a function actually is press the button. And there you go. It may take a little time. This is still a prototype, so don't uh, don't be worried. Usually the functions are pretty quick. And here we got different things to uh, have a look at. I, I played a song uh, earlier, so it just says resume. I could have a look at the newly added songs, the albums, and the playlist, which is over here. Um, let's just have a look at it. So I'm going to resume and see what was the last uh, song I've been listening to. Very stylish animation, all very flashy. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. Actually, what we got here is the cover view, which I can't really show you because I didn't upload the covers, but that's as much space as, as they're going to take. Um, you may either navigate the songs by touching the touchscreen, so you just jump to the next or the last song or to the beginning, or what you can definitely do, um, I know young, young guys really enjoy that, is use K control, so all you need to do is press this button and then you jump to the uh, first song and the second song. And what's also very nice, this is actually... A phone that has a pretty loud loudspeaker. So I'm gonna lower the volume again a bit because uh, it's kind of annoying and I'm not the only guy in the office. So yeah, this is what you can do with it. I mean, you can also um, search different songs. Um, just move back in the menu. You may have a look at the newly added songs. I didn't add any. Um, it's still fresh and I need to return it pretty early. Um, there's no real albums on it. We haven't set up any playlists yet, and so yeah, no newly added. So you might say, what functionality is this? There's not very much I can do about it. But the trick is, what this phone is definitely waiting for, is that you use for to uh, set up the songs and all that stuff. You are going to use either the MediaGo software, which makes it very very comfortable or you enter the menu and access the music player itself then it has a lot more functionality actually you can switch on a song here um, use the uh, keypad again to switch between songs to uh, make a little modification about the order and all that stuff and return to the good old media menu that Sony Ericsson has or you just close it and then you can, if it likes me to, then you can just access the outside menu. Ah, here we go. So uh, the player is still running, but um, to have more details, to actually uh, have a careful look at the music, uh, rearrange stuff, you might have to enter the, enter the menu itself. You may have seen the media uh, manager just uh, crashed, so I'll have to uh, restart it. Um, so, let's have a look at the other functions. Uh, we already had a look at the uh, small music player that you should definitely prepare um, to get a good playlist on, but then it's a lot of fun to use it. Um, then we have videos. Um, Definitely the screen size may sound unusual when it comes to a data sheet, uh, but it's a 16 to 9, so it's prepared to watch movies. And there's a sample movie um, on this phone, so we're going to have a look at it. We're just going to resume and uh, have a look at the video. 
there you see it fills the whole screen it's 16 to 9 so you got quite a good quality in video um, and even the picture quality is pretty amazing so it's a fast reacting uh, screen and it should do its job I mean you can't really compare that to a TV honestly but nevertheless nice to have so if you convert your music, and uh, that is definitely what the uh, software is there for, uh, the software Media Go that Sony Ericsson ships with all his uh, their new phones, um, you should uh, consider um, converting one. It takes a while. I got to be honest. It takes a long while, yeah, um, to convert a movie. Um, it's not. I mean, you just throw in like any AVI MOV file that you got on your hard drive into that software and uh, that looks pretty quick but when it comes to then converting it to the right screen size of the phone yeah, it definitely takes a moment so um, oh, actually you could brew a coffee in that time no um, you can harvest the coffee roast it and then brew a coffee that's how much time it takes well of course depends on your computer um, yeah Every movie has an interactive movie, uh, uh, menu that you can easily access via the screen. You can send movies, of course. Um, you could either upload it to YouTube, to Facebook, or make a web upload. You can send it as a message, as an email, via Bluetooth. That's very, very neat. Um, many, many phones don't offer that many options. So uh, you see, um, if you have a look at the review part about the internet, this really, this phone really combines the uh, the internet with media. So nice idea, not, well done, Sony Ericsson. And as you can see, all the buttons are usually pretty big. So even a guy with a big thumb like me can easily access all these buttons. So um, nice animation, by the way. There's a camera album, so I can look at all the uh, movies that are on the uh, phone. Actually, I hope this is still a prototype uh, kind of happening. So that is, yeah, that is a movie I took uh, yesterday. Um, very short one with the internal camera in a NHD. And remember, again, when using NHD, sounds pretty cool but it isn't because it is not real uh, HD quality it's by far not real HD so here we got another video uh, and you see the uh, touchscreen is still kinda kinda uh, slow reacting but I guess that's only due to the fact that okay so um, I'm gonna just delete the video because uh, this is a friend of mine and he probably doesn't want me to return the phone um, uh, to uh, others that then gonna play his video. I mean, he's now on YouTube, so why should he complain? So uh, yeah, you can easily delete them, you can send them via me message, anything you got on the phone. And what's interesting actually, you can even send movies that are uh, you just imported. So uh, if you um, are converting, of course, a legal movie um, onto the phone via MediaGo, then yeah, have a look at it, pretty neat. You might just upload it to Facebook. So the last thing in the list um, is the radio, but unfortunately I don't have a headset around here in the office, so um, I can't really show you the, uh, uh, the radio itself, but uh, maybe we are lucky and it starts anyway. No, it doesn't. Um, so, uh, yeah, it does have a radio, but usually, as usual, it just works with the, uh, with a plugged-in headset that it uses for an antenna. So, um, don't be uh, too disappointed. You should always take your headset with you. Okay, so much about the media menu. Looks neat, is neat. Yeah, and you should definitely wait for uh, them to optimize a bit of the screen control, but because as you can see, sometimes it's a bit slow uh, in reacting on my fingertips. But as you can see, once it runs, then it's pretty quick to use. Okay, so much for the media menu. Let's switch it off again.